Pokey Bandit, an Eleonora man nabbed after raiding machines for eight years. Gold Coasters put out their caps, supporting the family of champion Ironman Dean Mercer. Titans fans vow to fight off a major name change. And the urgent health warning for all Coast seniors. Live from 50 Capital Avenue Surface Paradise, this is Nine Gold Coast News. Good evening. He is one of the Gold Coast's most wanted fugitives, accused of swindling hundreds of thousands of dollars from pokey machines across the state and over the border as well. The alleged crook is tonight behind bars after dodging police for almost a decade. He's the notorious pokey bandit. Coming up, the urgent health warning, how you can protect yourself. Yeah, need to know stuff. Absolutely. But first, uh, sport with Michael Atkinson and Michael. A groundbreaking day at Casuarina for Surfing Australia. It literally was, Bruce. The sport's governing body has stepped up its quest for gold with a major revamp announced for the High Performance Centre ahead of the 2020 Olympics. And the Titans' injury curse continues with several big names to miss this week's final game. The Titans are limping towards their final game against the Roosters on Saturday, forced to make a number of changes due to injury and suspension. Regular forward Lavaha Pulu will start in the centres, while Kane Elgy makes a return to the starting side to cover the injured Tyrone Roberts. Kevin Proctor will lead the side this weekend after previously being stripped of the co-captaincy earlier in the season. He's done some rehab, uh, he's done some work in the community. The Gold Coaster has now slipped to 142nd in the world rankings. And that'll make it very hard for him to get into the Australian Open. Mm, like Thank you very much for that. Coming up for you, an urgent health warning for seniors, how you can protect yourself from a dangerous infection. And Jade has all the weather details. She will be with us next. Nine's Gold Coast News is proudly brought to you by your new food playground, The Kitchens, at Rabina Town Centre, now open. Shocking figures show one in three Gold Coast seniors develop shingles, but the majority are unaware that they're at risk. Doctors are now issuing an urgent health warning in a bid to reduce the number of cases. When it comes to catching shingles... Natasha Pukniewicz, Nine Gold Coast News. Be crazy not to get that. Yeah, need to get it indeed. Mm. All right, let's see what's coming up on Nine News Queensland in just a few minutes. Lofty, this uh, North Korean missile crisis has moved, uh, I guess you could say, to a whole new level. Yeah, pretty frightening situation, Wendy, especially after uh, North Korea launched this missile right over the northern part of Japan this morning. At six tonight, we'll have the latest reaction from Washington. We'll get some expert tips on how you get double the amount of groceries without going over your weekly spend. Bruce and Wendy, I'll uh, look forward to your company. Have all those stories and the latest breaking news. Nine news tonight at six in just a couple of minutes. Lofty, thank you for that. It is time now for the weather and Jade, it's going to be a warm one tomorrow. <laughs> Wendy, it is, and the Bureau of Meteorology has changed the forecast on us again, which means it's looking a lot less likely that we'll see any rain as we approach the end of winter. But first, let's take a look at how temperatures fared across the coast today. The mercury reached 21 degrees. That's too above average for winter. For the week ahead, we could see a possible shower on Thursday, but temperatures will rise as we enter into spring. The weekend is shaping up to be an absolute cracker. Perfect conditions for the Gold Coast show and as I mentioned Wendy and Bruce a pretty dry week ahead. All right Jay thank you very much for that. That lasagna on a stick at the show. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Yeah that's God calling on aim isn't it. Thanks for your company tonight of course you can stay up to date by visiting 9news.com.au. Let's join Andrew and Melissa. Thanks for your company. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>